gossip or swearing um, are things that can be perfectly handled. They are on the easier ends of the you know, spectrum, as far as I can see. Um, but we need to think why we're struggling in this area. So, you know, trying harder is probably isn't just the answer. So I really try hard. I clench my fists, I close my eyes and really try to be, I've done it again. No, I've done it again. Better to stand back. Why am I doing it? And to go back. And again, I think the way is not to focus on the particular sin, but to who we are that is the, the causing it. Again, it's the tree and the fruit. It's the inside of the cup. Clean the inside of the cup and the outside will get itself sorted as well. So, how are you with silence and solitude and uh, worship and study? Now those, it has been said, are the irreducible the core of the spiritual the, the journey, that the holiness, the habits of holiness will come out of silence and solitude. Why would you squander you know, two of the four on sitting there? Well, Jesus spent a lot of time in silence. He was committed to solitude. And you can see that before any great act, right the way through Scripture, there were periods of silence and solitude. These aren't um, things we can just say, oh, it's not for me, I'm not that kind of person. And worship and study, they all help to orientate ourselves to God. They all help us to be in the contact with our Heavenly Father. Father, and out of that inner core, the who we are inside, then these other concerns of swearing and uh, uh, cursing and gossip and slandering others, they ease off because you don't have to bother with them anymore. We don't need to get, you know, the screwed up with, with these issues.